John Leguizamo has done nothing but bitch and moan for the last three years about a lack of Latino representation in Hollywood while providing no real solutions. So then you might ask, why is he so dedicated to this cause if he's not trying to fix it? Well, the answer is simple. What's up, you guys? This is Kevin Ortega Rojas. I am a host, content creator, podcaster. I host a show here every week on YouTube called Here's Why with Kevin Ortega Rojas. And I actually took this weekend off from that show because I was planning on not making any content and just spending the weekend recharging my batteries and relaxing uh, before I have to hit the ground running leading into the holidays. Uh, But then I saw a post on Instagram from John Leguizamo that inspired me to make this video uh, because he annoys me to no end and I would like to publicly address his very interesting thoughts. For those of you who do not know, John Leguizamo is a Latino actor who is best known for his roles in films like Carlitos Way, Tu Wong Fu, Ice Age, and a ton of others. He is a critically acclaimed performer and a very talented stage performer. He is very well known for his one-man shows that he used to do very often. I'm telling you all day long, it's clean this, change that, take care of this. No wonder animals eat their young. (laughs) 60 of my cousins would get together, (laughs) barbecuing on one hibachi. And yo, yo, we would play that salsa music so damn loud that it would interfere with Nassau communications. John being known for his one-man shows is very ironic considering the fact that he treats the issue of Latino representation in Hollywood as a one-man show starring John Leguizamo about John Leguizamo. John has decided decades into his career Uh, being a very famous and well-known Latino actor, that he would be picking up the issue of Latino representation and crying about it for absolutely no reason instead of trying to fix the issue. But before we get too far into John Leguizamo and why I think that his comments are considerably silly, I would like to talk about the issue of Latino representation in Hollywood because it is a real issue that does need to be addressed and does need to be discussed. Latinos are significantly underrepresented in Hollywood, and by Hollywood I mean in TV and film. Latinos are technically the most underrepresented ethnic group in America when you compare how often we appear in TV and film with the size of the Latino population in America. Latinos currently make up 20% of the US population, but that number is growing. And in just a couple of years, one in every four Americans will be Latino. Latinos aren't just taking up space in America either. We contribute, Latinos contribute $3.2 trillion to the US GDP. That is a ton of power. That is a ton of money. If Latinos in America were our own country, we would have the fifth largest largest economy in the world. And still, with all of that, we are the least represented in TV and film. I'd like to share some statistics with you guys from Dr. Ana Cristina, who is a Latina scholar and researcher for the UCLA Hollywood Diversity Report. She does some really great work, so I would recommend following her on Twitter and Instagram. When it comes to broadcast television, Latinos only represent 6.1% of lead roles, 5.7% of other roles, 6.9% of TV directors, 5.9% of writers, and only 2% of show creators are Latino. Now, when it comes to film, Latinos only represent 2.3% of leads, 5.5% of other roles, and only 1% of directors and writers are Latino. To clarify, those statistics do include indigenous and black Latinos who are often left out of these conversations when it comes to Latinidad and the Latino diaspora. But I think it's really important to note that when we look at these numbers, these numbers represent creatives who are booking work. So while yes, Latinos may represent 6.1% of lead roles in broadcast television, that doesn't mean that those are Latino characters, that means that those are Latino actors. And we know very well that they are probably not playing a Latino character. They are most likely passing as white or only black, but they are probably not playing a Latino character uh, because those are even more rare, which is really disappointing because even when Latinos are booking work, they're not able to tell our stories, which is insane because we want to see them. When Latinos are put front and center and their work is adequately promoted, we show up 
everyone shows up, not just Latinos. Pedro Pascal had a phenomenal year this year. His work in The Last of Us earned him critical acclaim, and that show broke viewership records. Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega starred in Scream 6, which was the first Scream film to not star the original lead, and that ended up becoming the highest grossing film in the Scream franchise. We're often told that the reason why Hollywood executives don't make it a priority to green light Latino projects is because Latino audiences will watch anything because they know that we've grown accustomed to not seeing ourselves represented on screen. And that's disappointing because it's true. Latinos make up the largest percentage of moviegoers. 30% of box office sales are from Latinos. And when we attend those movies, we see ourselves in less than 10% of them. All that to say, the system is unfair. Latinos are here. We contribute to society. We support the system of Hollywood. We want to see ourselves represented and we deserve that. Okay, now let's get back to John Leguizamo. So over the last few years, John Leguizamo has decided to take on the issue of Latino representation in Hollywood by complaining about it. In 2020, John Leguizamo publicly declared that he would be boycotting the Emmys because of a lack of Latino representation in television, which was admirable because that year in particular, Latinos across the board were snubbed by the Emmys and they deserved to be called out for it. But since then, this man has done nothing but post screenshots of diversity infographics and ask his millions of followers if they think that certain actors are whitewashing characters. John Leguizamo has done nothing but bitch and moan for the last three years about a lack of Latino representation in Hollywood while providing no real solutions. So then you might ask, why is he so dedicated to this cause if he's not trying to fix it? Well, the answer is simple. It's the platform himself. John Leguizamo knows that he has regained social relevance by continuing to co-opt this issue. He got a show on MSNBC called Leguizamo Does America. He got to guest host The Daily Show twice, go on talk shows and do media appearances where he discusses an issue that he could help solve but chooses not to. Now the reason why this kind of performative activism by people like John Leguizamo is holding us back is because it distracts from the amazing work that is out there. Latinos are creating, we are working and we are trying to be seen and John Leguizamo is jumping up and down begging for attention instead of amplifying these people or creating more opportunities for them. Back in May of this year, John announced that his production company, NGL Studios, would be partnering with Me Too, a television media company that produces original content, to launch Me Too TV. This was supposed to be a huge thing. Even I got excited. Like, wow, finally, you know, a, a streaming platform for diaspora kids, for us to see ourselves represented, for us to pitch our own shows, for us to really be able to create our own content. But since May of this year, nothing has come from it. So far, all that's available is programming that Me Too was already creating and producing. And oh, surprise, surprise, John Leguizamo live at Rikers, his new documentary. So all of this hype, the press conference, the media coverage, and all these months later, and nothing to show for it? John, why don't you just try supporting Latino creatives instead of trying to make the situation about you? You have the access, you have the resources, you could be pushing the work of the incredibly talented Latino creatives that are out here, but instead you choose to hog those resources for yourself. On the other hand, we have people like Gloria Calderon Colette, who is a phenomenal creator and a real champion of Latino representation. She's had shows like One Day at a Time, With Love, and The Horror of the Lotus Roach, all starring Latinos, all telling Latino stories. There's also been shows like Gentified and On My Block on Netflix or The Gordita Chronicles on Max or Los Espookies on HBO and oh wait, all those shows got canceled. And yes, we can and should hold these networks and these studios accountable and ask them why they continue to cancel our programs. Yes, that is an issue and we should talk about it. But when people like John Leguizamo are crying about a lack of representation, it's worth asking. Did John Leguizamo speak out when these shows were canceled? No. Did John Leguizamo promote or support these shows publicly when they were airing? 
Also, no. John doesn't even follow Gloria Calderon Colette or any of these showrunners on Instagram. John Leguizamo is rarely connected to anything that is Latino related that isn't censoring himself. He doesn't follow Dr. Ana Cristina or her work with the UCLA Hollywood Diversity Report. He didn't attend the New York Latino Film Festival, the Chicago Film Festival, the Puerto Rican Film Festival, the LA Latino Film Festival, or any of the other incredible events held across the country celebrating Latinos. But he did hold a dinner with a bunch of Latino actors in New York City last month. A dinner where no one spoke or gave a presentation or made any sort of donation or contribution to a Latino initiative. They sort of just had dinner and sat around and posted pictures on Instagram, which I, I guess was cool. My point is that John Leguizamo, you have the power, the influence, the access, and the resources to affect real change for Latinos in Hollywood. But instead of doing that, you're choosing to continue to repeat this story over and over and over again because you've made it your platform. But at some point, put your money where your mouth is. And before I end this video, I just want to say that I am a fan of John Leguizamo. I respect and admire his work and his contributions to media and his contributions to the Latino community. Nothing Like the Holidays is my favorite Latino Christmas movie of all time. I watch it every year and this year will be no different. But I want people like John Leguizamo and George Lopez and J-Lo and anyone else who has the access and the resource to put that power to use and help the Latinos behind you open the door for us so that we can see real change. Otherwise, we're just gonna be talking about this forever. Before I go, if you're looking for a Latino show that you would like to watch, that you would like to support, there's a show on Netflix called Neon that came out last month, and it's a really, really good show. It's about an up-and-coming Puerto Rican reggaeton artist who's trying to make it. The show was actually created by Shea Serrano, who was the creator of Primos, which airs on Amazon's platform called Freebie, and I'm pretty sure they just got nominated for an Emmy. Uh, the show was created by Shea Serrano. It was executive produced by Daddy Yankee and Daini is the executive music producer. So this is a full-fledged Latino program that should be getting our support that I just don't see enough people talking about. At the end of the day, the message is simple and it's not just for John Leguizamo. It's for all of us. If we want to see ourselves represented in media, we need to show up for each other. It's about cultura and comunidad. It's about doing the work, not just talking the talk. Anyway, thank you guys for checking out this video. It's a little random and not something that I usually do, but if you want to watch more of my content, subscribe to this channel. My show Here's Why airs every Sunday. You can also go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post daily stories about current events, pop culture, and things like that. So if you're interested, go follow me over there. Until next time, talk to you later. Take care. Love you. Bye.